Welcome, everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. We're joined today with Vended. We got Griffin and Simon. Dude, how are you guys? Uh, how are you guys holding up over there? It's so, doing all right. It's gotten warmer outside. Yeah, it's Warm. pretty cold here. <laughs> it's it's you guys yeah. are in I'm Iowa, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's March, springtime, and it's fucking freezing. It's gotten oh, a little warmer today. It's gotten a lot better. The winds are still fucking me in the ass. But, I mean. <laughs> that's, 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 I just I just came from Toronto. So like I'm I'm in Florida now, so I'm chilling. But I came from Toronto, and that's just a tundra. Apparently, it's snowing there today, and I'm like, thank God I'm not there oh, anymore. Jesus. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Por qué? <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, it's it's fun. Thank you guys so much for coming on the show because I wanted to chat with you guys because. I mean, I've been a fan of Vended and seeing what you guys have been doing now for, for a couple of years. And it's been cool just to see y'all like evolve and just, just do cool shit. And I love how everyone kind of has like their own personality in the band too. And like you guys are like, I can see what, even in just the music, you guys are hungry as fuck. Like it's, you guys have that energy and it's, <clears throat> it reminds me of that 2000, like yeah. new metal when everyone was, was like very hungry and had that aggression to it. But it's modern and it's different and like. How has, I guess, the journey been since just the inception of the band for the last couple of years now at this point? Journey has been wild. You know, it's it, it it I mean, when you are together, all five of us for a long periods of time, you kind of want to strangle each other. But it's it's pure love. And <laughs> it's been a good it's a been amazing journey where. I think we've all just evolved to being just like brothers and a family and I mean, I think everyone would say the exact same. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if Griffin has to say. I think we all just love each other very much, and uh, we're just ready to be a part of the the new kingdom to take apart the whole world, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's <fine. laughs> well, that's that's great, man. I love that you guys – how old are you guys? You're young. It's weird when I – because I, I always thought I'm like the young dude, and then I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm like getting older. Now. How old are you guys? You're like 22, 23, 24? I, I'm 20. I'm oh 21. Oh, my God. Dude, you guys, I'm, I'm old. What the fuck? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be the weird I, metal, just metalcore poser in a few years. That's just like stupid. no. We, <laughs> we started, we started the band when was 14 years old. 14. You were 15. Yeah. 15, yeah. We, we started this one. We couldn't even drive. No, no Cole <laughs> was driving me. Cole's dad was driving the both of us. Yeah, like they were getting rides to my house. Like there was no like I'll see you in 30 minutes. It was like I got to ask my dad if I can come over. Yeah. Like <laughs> that was the crazy part. And then I would be like, guys, I can't make it. I got homework. <laughs> I got homework that I got to do. Damn. <laughs> that's like how how is that dynamic for i guess both of you coming from you know different households but of course like you know coming up with i'm sure you had to listen to a lot of slipknot new metal and all that like how how was that for you guys because that must have been just like a fun crazy experience and i'm assuming you guys got both into music like super young i'm gonna let him go first because i'm just gonna say the same shit that i've always said <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh growing up uh man it, my my dad was very good about showing me new music every day so he'd take me to school every day he'd drive me to school and my school wasn't too far from my house it was like four minutes or whatever so it mm. was perfect time to play one song so it was one song every day on the way there and one That's song it. on the way back and i really loved that routine because he'd be like he'd show me skrillex nice. and then he'd show me helmet and he'd show me snot and he'd show me all these different bands every single day and it was like i'm really thankful for it because he got me to love like jazz classical music and just all these different genres mm. instead of just liking metal and that's what he likes you know he loves jazz mainly he like this jazz drummer i want you to see how badass he is and i was like cool let's do it right. and that's just how i grew up with music it was really interesting just the fundamentals and different different shit almost every day and i really respect it hmm. i love sorry i started laughing because you were you were going on about how like you were being introduced to like a bunch of stuff but i me over here remembering when you didn't know who weird Al, weird al yankovic was <laughs> and you i was playing uh i think i was playing like uh beat it or uh hmm. some shit like uh, eat it or some shit like that and you were just like this guy's ripping off from these bands and I'm just like, that's his thing. That's his fucking thing. 
no man that's i'm not i'm not hating i'm not hating i just I, <laughs> it that it just popped into my mind and i couldn't stop laughing uh anyway mm -hmm. uh yeah no like mine was somewhat similar except i didn't really like i grew up with metal obviously like right. Uh, not specifically Slipknot or stuff like that, but also like leading into like, uh, I'm going to say Stone Sour or right. uh, Metallica, Green Day, stuff like that. But as I've gotten older, uh, like when I was growing up, I grew up with like uh, me first in the Gimme Gimme's okay. shit like that. <laughs> like, okay. uh, uh, oh, fuck. And uh, on my mom's side, I also grew up with like Paul Simon, Cat Stevens. Cool. Uh, oh my God, what was? Uh, I think it was Peter Paul and Mary, and they did the uh, the marvelous toy song mm. when I was just a wee little lad. <laughs> yeah, it was. I grew up with all like the weird Midwestern shit. Right. Uh, but uh, uh, as I was getting older, I was I started listening to uh more things that just got in that that would get introduced to me or that i would just be like this is fucking sick so right. like uh rise against yeah, uh elvis costello uh, a bunch of stuff like that hmm. so uh, i just grew up with like a wide genre of hmm. things from like musicals hmm. to like uh kind of rock to like uh right. i don't i don't know how to how would you describe elvis costello I don't know. <laughs> it's, well, that's that's super sick. That you, I I would say rock, but rock, yeah, yeah. Because well, like it's it's cool that I feel nowadays too that people are growing. Like everyone's a bit more open minded. You know, it's it's like the metalheads don't just listen to metal, and it's cool seeing the you know the generation the next and the next generation after that. Like you know, kids are growing up listening to like deathcore, but then also like lo-fi and stuff like that. And it's it's super sick that that's a thing now because it's it wasn't always a thing you know it's either you listen to pop and your parents listen to pop or they maybe you know were a little edgier and smoked too much weed in the 70s and listen to like rock and roll and then you know like that was kind of like that was like the the balance and that was kind of it and nowadays it feels like especially with fucking like things like tiktok and all that stuff that everyone kind of can listen to everything and it's healthier because people get more influences right you're not just stuck in this ball of one type of music i mean yeah it was like like again growing up my dad didn't want me to listen to metal right away he wanted me to get used to other things and he right. wanted me to discover slipknot by myself really so he'd that's play cool. like songs <laughs> he would play songs and be like this is your dad and then if i liked it or if i didn't but like <clears throat> i discovered all their secret like songs and like you know their you know they're like demos and all that shit right. like, from their self-titled record and that's how I knew I was a, like a maggot because mm -hmm. it was, I will still live and die for those guys, no matter what, like you can't talk shit about them in mm -hmm. front of my face. Like I will still, I still feel like I'm a fan, even though I'm his son. Right. And that's the crazy feeling. That's it's like, that's when you see me on side stage, I have like goosebumps and I'm freaking out because it's like, they are what made me go into other music like i'll listen to them all the time just because it just makes me feel good even though he is my father which is weird to say but yeah. i love how i love how like like you've got full on uh ride ride or die type shit and i'm over here i've still got a bit of my mom and me just being like just being like yeah he's yeah he's my dad but like if you talk <laughs> shit about him cool, <laughs> cool. i love it doesn't change the doesn't change the fact that I that I still love him. Like it's cool. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's a... it, it's the same thing. It's the same thing with like people just like talking shit to me. Like, okay, right. I don't I don't fucking care anymore. I just want to go to bed. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're back. We're good. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Welcome to fucking Iowa, where everything's shit. Oh, everything's no. shit. No, it's just Damn like, it! <laughs> It's always a trap! Hey guys, uh, Future Nick here. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, the guy's video quality sadly kept going in and out, so you'll just see a picture of them sometimes. Uh, that's it. Definitely watch the entire interview. It is beyond hilarious. Don't, don't miss it. You know, leave a like, comment, all that. Show the guys love. Yeah, I hope you guys like it. It's such a fun interview. Let's just forget that our fans are in here and that they're probably like these idiots. <laughs> 
it's all right oh, dude it's, oh shit it's, it's, it's so bad you no know, it's, it's 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 so fun too because nowadays you know and uh everyone like artists too i feel like are just so much more just just chill and personable you know with the internet and just like just something as simple as instagram existing and you can go there and you can you know just just put whatever random fucking picture and people be like oh damn like i feel like you know nowadays it's not as much like a, oh shit you know someone from band that i like and it's like this big mysterious thing it's just like oh no we like we're chilling like it's it's kind of a bit of a different yeah. um relationship from musicians and you know fans even though still you know i'm sure that everyone's a fan of someone when they'll see them and they'll still like no matter what like fangirl the fuck out and just go like wild and <laughs> on that um but, of course dude of course yeah it's it's uh but, it's a lot i mean yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to keep interrupting. It's like lagging. So I know. I'm, like, I'm like trying to not jump ahead of you. I'm not trying to jump ahead of you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Chris Clare and we're over here eight bit. Yeah, but it's all right. We'll figure. We'll get it rolling. We'll get it rolling. We'll forget about this all ever. Mario sixty four in this cocksucker. <laughs> but yeah, for 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 you guys, I guess how is like what um. I'm, you guys seem like you're in like the modern, very modern metal scene. Like you guys listening to like a lot of the shit that's coming out nowadays. You guys like you guys listening to a lot of non-metal shit. What's your guys, I guess, vibe when it comes to even just day to day listening, following what's happening? What's what's your go tos? I guess the only band that I would say that I listen to that's like not fairly new, but they've been around. But I guess they just have a lot of uh, headway. Is Slaughter to prevail mm. like i guess that's really it like i don't listen to sleep token or anybody like that mm. um yeah i don't know i'm very i'm very picky with music and it sucks because like people will be like oh do you like this band i'm like no <laughs> <laughs> i like what i like but i'm over here. I'm over here just like, do you like this band? I don't know who the fuck you're talking about <laughs> like <laughs> i because like i think three four bands mm. i'm gonna i'm just gonna name a few bands that i know that came out like sometime like right. in this quote unquote generation i'm gonna say king 810 slaughter to Pre slaughter to prevail gojira right. um uh pol uh what was it polaris or polaris, polaris? yes uh, polaris yes uh 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 yeah those are the kind of four that i can think of right now i think there are a few that i am thinking about right now but just can't pinpoint right. uh fever three through three i guess There's yeah some, yeah uh but uh yeah like those are like typically ends where i'm just like oh yeah like i got into these guys when like they were introduced to me but t i typically listen to just classical stuff i listen to l like i was like I was saying, Elvis mm. Costello, Paul Simon, That's sick. Uh, me first in the Gimme Gimme's, uh, old school Foo Fighters. Like I listened to a lot of the uh, like just mm. older stuff. Like and when and it's very rare that like I'll get into um, like newer things unless it's like a song that like unless Amanda Palmer put out a song uh like mm. yesterday and i found out about it like two months later like that's 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 how my uh that that's how up to date i am <laughs> i got you i got you. that's that's super sick i mean how does that all translate to i guess to vended because vend you guys are fucking angry like you feel that like fun raw energy that angst and it's sick because not a lot of bands can sound like that but also make it believable you know what i mean like a lot of bands try to like be like we're hard or angry and it's aggressive but it, no one fucking really can, can you know yeah, uh, gets it but you, you guys go hard as fuck it, griff is right it's that midwestern fucking sadness i was gonna, no, I was gonna say it's that midwestern <laughs> energy I, I i don't i think with us i think we didn't take account of like all these other bands do where they take like they're like oh let's I drum because of right. this drummer. I play the guitar because of this guitar player. I sing because of this singer. I think it's more of just like, uh, let's just fucking put two and two together and let's just really fucking rock out. And right. I mean, like, as, let's just make the most angriest fucking shit that anyone can think of. And it is angry. Like you said, like, I feel like <clears throat> 
with our new single, yes, the far side being out, I feel like that is the, so fucking thankful that song is out, man. Jesus it Christ. it's definitely the angriest we've ever been. I think off. it's just pure <laughs> raw fucking energy and people who say it's not angry and they don't hear it i don't under who's wait who's what do they think it's like a country ballad who's saying it's not angry? <laughs> no i think <laughs> like, I, what? no i it's some like so like i i love watching reaction videos like okay. i've watched like i like i watch a lot of reaction videos i'm sorry for that by the way on behalf of all of youtube and metal reaction i'm i apologize on behalf of the whole scene for that <laughs> no but it's it's just funny because everyone's entitled to their own opinion which is right. fine but it like sometimes their opinion doesn't make sense <laughs> like i like when i'm listening to the song even i'm biased i'm just like god this makes me just want to punch a window <laughs> and like seriously break shit and some guys like yeah that was good that was good. I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? That didn't make you want to just go hit somebody? Like, are you kidding me? Like, Meanwhile, the only criticisms that I get are just, he just sounds so much like his dad. He just, he's so much like his dad. And I'm over here just like, I'm like my mom too. Y'all can fuck yourselves. He's, he sounds just like his dad because he's the spawn of his dad. What do people want him to his voice not to sound like his dad? It makes no sense. Uh, well, I was gonna, I was gonna ask. Do you take that as a criticism or a compliment? It, it's gotten to the point. I'm 21 years old. It's gotten to the point where I, I just stop listening to it. Okay. I just stop listening to the that sentence specifically. <laughs> mainly just because I've heard it so much. It's that. It's the. It's the fucking like the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting something different. Have I ever told you the definition of insanity? It's just fucking like Vaz from Far Cry type shit. Vaz from Far Cry. I, I did not expect like... the Far Cry I... reference. But... Yeah. I was born in 2002. What do you expect? <laughs> what's funny? What's funny about this whole thing is I feel like it's what's hilarious is you're crystal clear us, and I feel like we're talking, and it just sounds like a lot of just fuck, ah, ah, just a lot of just pausing and just pure insanity of people going like what the fuck is going on so i don't know i hope i hope it's great it's it's, it's good on, on the audio side it's on the video i'll probably end up just doing like the when you guys are in you're in i'll just put a picture when you guys do when it like does the bandwidth thing don't worry yeah nah, you're so good. Well, i just love the yeah I just love the fucking i always love it when uh like on that whole, just like I wasn't expecting the Far Cry reference. I always love it when people are just like, I, like I got a fucking comment from someone uh, on Instagram where they were just like, "Oh my God, Griffin, you know Team Fortress 2? And I'm like, "I was born in 2002. Of course, I know Team Fortress 2. I know fucking G Mod and Source Film. What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> Jesus, that's, that, that's going back to the. Sorry, continue. Sorry. Go, going back to the far side and <laughs> the, the, the song, yes. And stuff. So, yeah, so we don't get off track. Um, I it, I just think it's funny. I don't know. I laugh every time when people hate. That's what people get. They get mad when they see me laughing. They're like, Simon, how do you feel about this person shit talking? I'm like, I think it's dead fucking funny, dude. Yeah. Like, I'm laughing my ass off. He's like, this dude's talking the biggest shit. Like, there was one reaction I saw the other day. And it was so fucking funny. He was just sitting there, and he's like, he'd pause it every like three minutes, going or like every like a minute or so, and he'd be like, "Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's good. Resume." <laughs> this is and then no like context. continue doing that, <laughs> no context at all. And then he like at the end of the song, he's like, "I think that was a very well-rounded song. Everything sounded great." And then the video ended. I was like, "What the fuck was that?" There was no like. There was no like thoughts about the song. He just said like four sentences and then that was it. And that the was it. Fucking, the, the one fucking reaction video I always uh, go back to. Now, it for some of the viewers, if you guys know me, you guys know that like mm. I I truly do not like throwing around any shade or any hate. I'm yeah. very much a peaceful pacifist kind of person. Uh, there was this one reaction video that I saw where it was these two, uh, like bearded guys. And this was back when, do you know what I'm talking about? It was back when like, uh, Asylum came out and they were listening to it. And remember, I wrote this song when I was 
16. I was in the middle of high school. And so like my grasp on on uh, writing skills weren't really that great. And these guys were just tearing into my lyrics and tearing into how shit I was writing. Jeez. And like the one lyric that I wrote uh, on the second verse, which was, I am not a pawn in the game. I'm just your fucking slave. They both just went, nope and i just <laughs> my heart got crushed oh my, my heart got fucking crushed jesus <laughs> man well that's that's I think people yeah it's so, continue yeah I, it, it, with the whole like and that's why and i love the, you guys have such a great attitude again like you're it's it's i usually have people that are like much older than me honestly that's why it's, it's great having like you guys on the stream and talking about because i don't even i'm out of the loop with what's happening too but i like you guys know what's up and i love that even already at like your guys age like you don't give a fuck like that's so important it, to, to just I not woke up today and played minecraft dude oh god <laughs> guys okay it. wait you started them i have to ask did no, you go no, how no <laughs> no no i have to ask no oh, I, I swear to god i even thought about it when i woke up Today. Nick, about Nick, up. Nick, for my sanity, <laughs> do, don't you dare, don't you fucking dare talk about Minecraft. For my fucking sanity, I swear to God, don't you dare bring it up. I had to hear about it almost every fucking day, okay? I'm fucking good. <laughs> so, to clarify, you didn't throw block today. What the fuck? <laughs> Does he fucking win? But, oh man, I love it. No, no disrespect. I, I love my dad so much. And he loves his Minecraft. And that's completely okay because he's making moves. He's making money moves. He's a gangster right now. Who cares? But fuck, dude. When I'm visiting him, it's like, hey man, Minecraft this. I'm like, I just woke up. I just woke up, dude. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. It's like you guys. It's like you guys when you guys see me and I immediately start talking about Magic the Gathering. <laughs> now I'm mad. Now I'm mad because it went full fucking circle. I watched that podcast all the way through and now it fucking... I, by the way, it went... I had a lovely went, time talking to your dad. Your dad's funny as fuck. I, I was one of I, my... I did not expect to him. talk about just Minecraft for an hour and a half, but it was lovely nonetheless. Your dad still hasn't invited me to throw a that block though. What the fuck? Come on. I'm right here. <laughs> that was my whole fucking... That was my whole fucking goal to get goal today was to give the viewers PTSD. <laughs> well, I bet they're pissed. I bet they're so mad. They're probably like, you motherfuckers, you motherfuckers. Oh my God. They were probably hoping to hear something from my dad. They're probably hoping to hear some slipknot shit. No, they heard pics. They heard, they heard pixels. They heard pixels and Mojang. That's they heard. They heard. I'm fucking crying. <laughs> so way too. No, oh, it's I uh, no, it's funny. I don't care. It's it's good. Oh it's my It's hot in this room. I'm feeling pissed. I'm angry, man. It's hot. It's my hot. back hurts. All right, no, oh, yeah. No more throwing block questions. We're we're good. I won't, okay, well here, I'll di di divert. So with you guys, because you guys keep, you know, dealing with haters, all that bullshit. Do you guys feel like you have to reach, like, some stupid standards set by, like, the public just because, you know, you guys, your dads are from Slip? Not, like, like some unfair, like, oh, it has to instantly sound every song at some crazy high fucking wild thing. You know, like, Griffin, you're, you're like, 16, and you have to already be, like, the fucking crazy lyricist in the world. Like, you guys feel like you have that pressure from the public sometimes? That's not... Okay. Yeah. Personally, not me. I don't know. I don't feel the pressure. I feel like when we write our music, I'm not worried about it sounding like right. Slipknot. I'm not worried about... I mean, of course, like, if we write a riff that's like, oh, that's pretty fucking close, then yeah, <laughs> but like, that's pretty close, dude. But I, most of the time, I'm very... Who gives a fuck? Who cares what they say? Of course, they're going to say it sounds like Slipknot. I guarantee you, if we weren't who we were, they'd still say the same thing. Yeah, These yeah. I, I feel like it's just the stigma of us being from Slipknot that they're like, oh, it sounds like Slipknot, but I'm like, but it doesn't though. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, it's completely different. Like, I don't know how to put it into people's words. Like, I've asked so many people, right. hey, do you think the far side sounds like Slipknot? And they're like, I can see why they say that because you're the kids, but no, 
necessarily yeah. not. And I'm just like, thank you. It's just, it's just people say, I feel like it's a clout thing. Mm. I feel like it's a clout thing. I feel like people have to include the Slipknot name just for the clout. And it is, yeah. it is because they're like, sons of Slipknot, boom, fucking a million views. <laughs> A yeah. million views. Well, it's I, just a clout chaser. And I can imagine that's annoying as fuck. That's the thing, because again, as uh, you guys are younger, especially, you're paving your complete own way, which I have mad respect for. You know what I mean? And I see you guys have that energy, that drive, that want. You guys are fucking going for it. And again, claps for that. So I can see how that's that's annoying when you see those stupid headlines and it's just people trying to get these dumb clicks that have nothing to do with you guys, what you guys are trying to do anyways. <laughs> you guys are just trying to do your own fucking thing and have fun and make sick music, it, right? I I'm just trying to make sure I'm 50 and I can buy like 400 acres of land or some stupid shit and ride dirt bikes for the rest of my life. That's all I want. I just want to be able to like right. have my fans be like, I love your music so much and it made it saved my life. And I'm over here revving a 250 just on my <laughs> like my land, just going fast this as fuck. <laughs> I thought about it. I thought about okay. it, Nick. I thought about it. Like, like you want the luxury. I just want to be like, I want the creative freedom, but also just like that freedom of laziness as well. Right. When I'm not doing that shit to just be able to like, like, Oh, I just got off of like a seven week tour. Oh, we just fucking kicked ass time to go back home and play magic. The gathering with my six year old brother. Like right. that's my entire fucking goal. That's sick. <laughs> I wouldn't call it luxury. I just call it like, I just want to be old and fat. <laughs> I just want to be old and fat. <laughs> you want that? You want that? You want that World War II grandpa that seen some shit and then like gets to like fucking like just like like just smoke out of like smoke tobacco out of like the biggest fucking pipe. I I just want to look back at what we did and be like, we fucking made it. We yeah. we. We're, we're at the top and I can sit back with my kids and be like, now this is all yours. Now it's right. take it how you want it. You don't have to be a musician. You could be a boxer. You could be a streamer. You could be anybody you want. Yeah. But I created just like how my generation with my family is they created kingdoms and everyone take, took it as they wanted to. Right. I want to be able to like one goal of mine, because like, I always like, I'm, I'm in agreement. I'm in, I'm in agreement with Simon when it comes to like the whole, uh, like you, like if we ever have children, hopefully not on my part, but uh, if we <laughs> ever have children, I'm 21 years old. I can say it. Uh, 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 if I ever have children, I do want that freedom of just being like, mm -hmm. you can be whatever the fuck you want to be. Right. I do not give two shits. As long as you are kind, as long as you are healthy and respectful of others and you constantly mind your manners, uh, I give zero fucks on what you want to do with your life. Uh, but a little goal of a t not, not a goal, just a kind, kind of like, uh, what would make my fucking life is if my, uh, is if my kids like grew up to be like a doctor yeah. or like a nurse or some shit like that, because that's what my, my grandma and my mom, uh, th th that's what their their professions are slash were right uh but if like i ever get the chance of like i have a fucking daughter and she's a nurse or a mm. doctor i'm gonna uh, and i'm over here screaming the f word at people i'm just gonna be like i win at life <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly everyone's gonna really hate me for this and i'm just kidding by the way this is all jokes mm. i think it'd be kind of funny if my kid was a drummer and <laughs> He, I was like, okay. now you get to deal with I had to deal with, bitch. Yeah, and then, like, all the headlines are Vended Sons start a new band. And I'd be like, yeah, sit in it, motherfucker. Slip not Sons, Vended Sons start a new band. <laughs> Just ben died. <laughs> ben died. <laughs> It's a full fucking circle, and I hope it. I don't hope it happens, but if it does, I'm gonna look at my kid in the face and be like, "I had to deal with the same shit." All right, I had to deal with it. Now you have to, and I ain't helping you. I ain't saying shit. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go full life of Brian. Of just, I'm just gonna look at my kid and just be like, "Always look on the bright side of life." 
<laughs> oh man. The problem with okay, I love how you asked. I love how you asked me and Griffin to do this together. The problem with him and I together, it's just full ADHD. <laughs> oh, dude, it's oh, mine is worse than his. Dude, it's way it's, more fun. That's the thing when I do like it's on, an issue. What I do on here too, man. Like, I, it's super chill. Like, I I know like when people are like, hey, come do interview podcasts, all that shit. Like, it's very intense and i like to talk about the fun professional serious stuff too you know what i mean like out of just pure curiosity because i want to have you guys on because i'm a fan of vended and what you guys do and i've been loving the tracks and wanted to know more about you guys right so it's but like we just do fun shit here man that's why it's fun where that like i'm glad that people feel comfortable to just come and just fuck around and like shoot the shit because also like people I watching aren't used to seeing a lot of the musicians especially like when we they come on the show here like in that more just like just like let's chill and shoot the shit and like talk about cool shit you know what i mean of course yeah i woke up, I woke up today i woke up today and had chicken noodle soup and then came here like that was that was my fucking day i don't wait i thought up. you i thought you threw block Did, didn't we throw block i did i did both i did both <laughs> god damn it <laughs> That Here's is my thing. new Nick, favorite I, word, bro. I, it is my new favorite fucking word. <laughs> I'm waiting for one thing from you. I'm waiting because I used to watch your videos all the time and I don't even play guitar. Okay. But it was just one of those things where like I'm the drummer and it's just kind of funny. Right. And I want the video that you always do for people where it's how to sound like these guys. You guys want Fendi. And I okay. can't wait. I want the Vended one, and I can't wait for you to just to make a complete mockery of everything. Of just like, you have to sound like Corey Taylor. <laughs> you have, you have, you need to basically be born from Corey Taylor and Clown. And it was, it's going to be great because no, I'm going to laugh me. my ass off the whole time. No, for me, for me, for me, it'll just like, I, like, like, oh, it, I'll, I'd be surprised if just be like, you need to sound like a mixture of Corey and Scarlet. And people are just like, who the fuck is Scarlet? <laughs> it's, well, dude, it's, it's, it's so funny because you guys have such a fun sound where like it to me at growing up with like 2000s new metal and, and I grew up with metal core shit and more of that too. But like the new metal side too, like you have that raw aggression, which is so fun. And like, sure, it's like it can be per like perpendicular, like parallel to like the Slipknot, what they were doing back in the day. Um, but you guys just what I parallel the most with you guys is the energy. And I love that because it's so rare. Like I was mentioning, you guys have that raw, aggressive energy and it comes through in the music. It comes through even in the videos and it's like, especially like Griffin in the vocals, like you, you, you have, even if you have a little like tonality of your dad, like you have such a menacing, intense fucking scream that like, even I was checking out the last single on stream and I was like, fuck <laughs> like this, like. It's crazy to hear that much aggression with that much tone and like control and your singing too as well. And of course, Simon, your drumming is fucking nuts, man. Right. So it's like, I see the I parallels it. of, you know, say, I always yeah. say that like Simon's like, like, I, I like, I think I like, this is just me self deprecating. I think I am a very decent s singer. I think that there are a lot of things that I can work on with Simon. Dude, you are fucking insane, dude. Like when it comes to drumming. Okay, let's just rise my ego even more because it's already bad. <laughs> it's already I already got the We can talk about my grass. No, 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 we're not we're not talking about Minecraft. Hey y'all, hey y'all wanna talk about Magic the Gathering real quick? I can talk about Magic the Gathering all fucking day. Let's fucking do this bitch. No, 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 no. No. I think it's crazy because people are always like, you're insane. You're an insane drummer, you're an insane singer. And it's like, man, there's always more to work on. It's always like I feel like my perfection of drumming won't be complete until I'm dead. You know what I mean? It's mm. one of those things where it's like, I don't feel like I'll be a perfect drummer until I'm out of this world and gone. And then that's when my drumming was perfect. It's, right. it's, it's already laid out into a canvas. And that's, and it's like, dude, you're a perfect drummer. You're a great drummer. You're the best drummer. I'm like, I'm nowhere near that, but I'll say that I am. I don't really believe it. I'll just say that I'm the best drummer just to piss a bunch of people off because it does. That. It really upsets a lot of people. <laughs> no, dude, pissing the internet off is I like the think... funnest thing. It's it's fun because it, it's not, it's just, I just, the, it's just not real. It's just the internet fucking around and being bored and be, people are bored. You know what I mean? And if anything, yeah. the saddest thing I notice with bands is when they do stuff and no, and just people don't say anything. Like, and, and, and I'm like, oh, 
wow, like that's sad. Like they don't even care enough about the band to shit talk. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's a sad spot yeah. for a band. <laughs> or, or, or the worst one is, is when they actually like, like this person has been talking shit about this band for fucking ever. Mm. And then they actually make like a really fucking good song and they don't say shit about it. <laughs> they don't say, they don't, they don't fucking go back on the word. Yeah. It's, it's how it goes. But like though. what I was going to, yeah. what I was going to say is that like, uh, like I just love to sing like singing it's uh, a massive like i like like we were bringing up i have massive fucking adhd hmm. uh, i have really bad adhd and like anxiety and stuff like that so uh singing has always been a really nice uh stimuli hmm. for myself or just like a good fidget right. and um uh, i grew up uh like in school i grew up doing uh like barbershop quartet and wow. uh uh choir and stuff like that and uh, like when I was walking around the school hallways, uh, I would like be singing, singing music and screaming music and stuff like that. Right. Uh, which I always, which I always have like really bad fucking anxiety about nowadays because I'm just like, God, I was such an annoying prick. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but like, uh, uh, but nowadays, like I'm actually uh, recently, I've actually gotten back into learning. Uh, new learning guitar and stuff like that like i've oh, been sure. learning acoustic guitar and uh some of the new some of the songs that i've been practicing on i i relearned how to play good riddance by green day mm. i learned a little bit fuck bar chords i fuck learned a little chords. bit how fuck to, bar chords I'm fuck, with bar you, chords. fuck bar chords fuck bar chords <laughs> uh i learned a little bit how to uh <laughs> I learned a little bit. The reason why I say that I learned a little bit how to do uh, the end by My Chemical Romance nice. on uh, the Black Parade album, the first song. Uh, again, fuck bar chords. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and like the newest song that I've learned how to play, even though it's just three chords over and over again, and then I add a little bit of things here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, I learned how to do uh, The Middle by uh, Jimmy Eat World. Nice. Which was uh, really fun to do, because uh, I learned it just on acoustic, and it's just mm -hmm. like three chords. I think it's, uh, well, oh, fuck, what was it? It's not C, it's, uh, this is the fuck? I think it was D, G, and, uh, Fuck, I can't remember the ones that were. It's just like a? three and a line. <laughs> I'm just it's all like a. Few. Yeah, I think it was a. It so it was a. like it was like d. It was like d a and g, which just like all in a loop. And then I uh, on like the kind of guitar solo part, I would just add some shit, right. like some uh, like just some like chords that in a mm. in a in a pattern to kind of make it sound cool. Did, did you go for Wonderwall yeah, yet? I've been, I've been, uh, no, because fuck bar chords. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Wonderwall's not bar. Wonderwall's like, not. They're not bar chords in Wonderwall. Du, 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 I'm on. I'm on tabs. I'm on tabs. The app. So like a lot of them are stuff that like people have like right. like done on their own. Cause fuck paying forty goddamn dollars to learn some shit. Wait, do you guys? Do you guys? So still, I do just, you guys still use like Ultimate Guitar nowadays? Like that's the shit. I I was like so stoked with like yeah Ultimate Songster Ultimate Guitar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. more of a songster type of guy. <laughs> yeah. Dude, songster is the best because they have the ultimate guitar pro. Fuck paying for ultimate guitar, by the way. They have all the ultimate yeah, guitar pro sucks. tabs, but they're on songster and you can see that it's the ultimate guitar pro tab and it's just ripped on songster <laughs> and you're like, hell yeah. V vindicate. The hustle. <laughs> the hustle is real for them. They're like, fuck it. We're taking everything. We're gonna... <laughs> I'm, just, yeah. I'm just learning as I go and I'm just trying to figure out some shit, but I was even, fuck, I was talking to my dad yesterday. I was texting him. Mm. And I I was complaining to him and I just went, Dad, why is it that every single song that I want to practice on acoustic from you have bar chords in them? And he just goes, do some hand push-ups. And I just went, what does that mean? <laughs> what? Do <laughs> some hand push-ups. That's some dad what? shit. Do some hand push-ups. That, that's the realest Iowan dad thing I've ever heard anyone say. Because that sounds like my father where he's like, I don't know, fucking run a lap and i'm like okay fucking all right thanks <laughs> he said, dick he said that he was going to he said that he was going to teach me some like uh cheats to do them uh, okay. at some point so the next time that i see him he'll probably teach me there's some, some tricks there, there's but, there's some uh, tricks but it's 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 not fun because it's 
it just it, you got to build like the calluses or it's just going to hurt like the calluses got to be there on that finger it's not fun man this is yeah. why i'm a drummer because then i can just listen to the song and i can just play it that's i'm a singer but yeah. i want to learn new skills <laughs> dude fucking learning get learning guitar is like the most anger yeah. i've yes. ever felt because it's like it's so fucking stupid because you just it you're like you get good on the open like like right. you just get on the first court like first string and then you it, like songs are like hey i want you to like go to like the the middle strings and you're like okay uh thanks <laughs> every time i think about <laughs> everything every time i think about learning guitar or just like trying to do chords in a certain pattern right. my mind always goes to metalocalypse oh my when it's God. the when it's pokey when it's toki in the fucking uh in the booth and he's trying to play the strings and he's just like screaming just like don't you Fucking look at me, fingers! Don't you look at me! <laughs> I just started losing it. <laughs> you should put a, a you should put a warning to people in this video. Headphone Head, users, headphone be aware. Users. <laughs> I already have tinnitus. Welcome to my pain. <laughs> Griffin and Simon are so fucking loud. It's all right. <laughs> have you guys ever thought about like Twitch streaming and stuff like that? Because you guys are so fucking. Funny. I do. You do already. I do Twitch stream. I'm a, I'm a bad yeah. host. Oh my goodness, I don't even know that. I'm a bad host. Yeah, okay. So, I, it's mainly you don't know it because I have my own persona as a Twitch streamer. You have Simon Cran, who's the drummer, ego fuckhead, and then you have <laughs> my Twitch, which is a completely different username. I have a mascot guy. I play horror games. That's it. That's all I do. Oh, what? Yo, so. okay. You got teeth because I used to throw horror games on stream. And the last, it's been a while. Like Outlast is always fun. We did Fear. We did um, uh, Resident Evil, right? When that was popping. Like, is there any new ones that are like worth throwing down for for stream? This one isn't new, but this one will throw you through a fucking heart attack, dude. You'll okay. be on your feet just all day, and that's how I felt. It's Alien Isolation, man. Come on, like the oh, fucking man. Alien movies. We we that tried one that for like still gets me ten minutes, I think, and that's something. I think something went wrong. Maybe my heart went wrong. That was the problem. And then we stopped. I remember starting that though. I'm like, I don't like this. This is uncomfortable. Like, I why am I doing this to myself? Let's just the, listen to breakdowns. Like, I, why? I did not just listen to break <laughs> just listen to no, breakdowns. Dude, I I did like a six hour stream one time. And I was all caffeinated on, on Monster, and I was in a wife beater, and I w had it on full blast. Right. And we were playing Alien Isolation, and my chat was like, "I don't get a lot of people viewers. Like, I get like a solid eighty, and I love it though because right. I can actually answer everybody's questions. Yeah. Like, it's not a constant. Like, I can be like, "Hey, John, three sixty uh yeah thanks for the gift also here's what i do for drums and then like it's not like overlapping each yeah. other i can ans answer everybody but did you just fucking quote the bible did i <laughs> yeah, John 316 is a fucking i did I, I didn't say 316 i you said, said 316 no i said 360 360 okay i, I said i was like straight up just like you just quote why did you just quote the jesus be chilling in right chat there? with y'all okay. bro <laughs> jesus be chilling my brothers in christ <laughs> no, but Alien Isolation is the most realist game I've ever played. I was profusely sweating. Okay. I was like locked in. I was like peak game lock in. Just let's fucking go. And my chat, like there was a point where my chat was like trying to help me. They're like, go right. And I went right. And that motherfucker was right there. Mm. And I was like, holy and like, shit. Yeah. And like, there's been times where I've been standing up for 10 minutes yeah. out of the chair, just like. Just, de just dealing. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm just letting you know he's on the right. Damn, you wasn't lying. <laughs> but uh, I do want to get into I do want to get into streaming or just like YouTube stuff. I think mm. me and my friend uh, Josh have some uh, things that we're working on currently uh, mm. that we're gonna do at his apartment. Uh, just Sick. like some. Uh, just some like maybe YouTube stuff and maybe like on the side doing like uh, some Twitch streaming stuff, maybe. But I right. personally can't do Twitch streaming mainly because I do not have the equipment for it. I do not have the proper equipment. Gotcha. Uh, I 
have an Elgato that I got from shout out to my friend Dallas Soup. He fucking sent me a free Elgato. Oh. Like shout out to my man soup right there. Soup is the best, yo. All the the dudes, Soup fucking. Dude, uh, is such a great man, person. The boys, man. Yeah. He's such him. And, yeah, him and that crew. They're such great people. I really hope to uh, like meet the rest of them. But Soup, Dallas, and everyone from Slackjaw, great fucking people, beautiful human beings. But uh, yeah, no, he was, uh, I was asking him like just advice when it came to uh, getting equipment. And he uh, just said, oh, dude, I can just send you a fucking Elgato. And I just went, I'll, pay, I'll pay you back, man. He goes, dude, no fucking need. And I, uh, I'm still planning on paying him back. Uh, no. But he, uh, he got me like, he sent me like a free Elgato and like, I've just had it and I haven't been able to use it, but me and my friend are going to start doing some stuff together. And I just brought my Xbox, nice. uh, and I brought my, uh, Elgato and a bunch of controllers and shit over there so that me and him can start doing stuff. But what I do and like most people who know me and most people who have just like mm. known my personality or just how I get fucking hyper fixated on shit so goddamn easily. Uh, <laughs> Y'all know that like once I start like actually streaming by myself, the one thing that I truly want to do is a Minecraft and B <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Simon's face instantly is I am done with this. <laughs> <laughs> a Minecraft. This one will make you groan as well. Uh, a bunch of like Soulsborne games or like uh, uh, Dark Souls or stuff like that. And uh, like, cause I'm a massive fucking. I'm I'm a massive survival mm, and yeah. uh, I'm a massive survival and uh, like medieval kind of person or just like fantasy type right, person. Right. I'm not big. I'm not big into horror games, although I do enjoy. Uh, doing them for like reaction stuff. I did them with Alicia like mm. uh, last year, which was really fucking fun. I got insanely drunk doing that. <laughs> and uh, I'm 21. And uh, but we like we just had like a really great time. Uh, so like like I see the I see the purpose of like uh, like horror games and playing right. them for like an audience on. But I'm not I'm not the type of person to play them on my own. I'm the type of person to like get heavily fucking fixated on uh, the Hot Wheels game that came out for the PlayStation Five, nice. and Wait, then I'm just sitting now? in my room. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's so fucking fun, <laughs> bro. Dude, I'm like, still can, on like you... the physical level, bro. Growing up, what the fuck they got game for this now, man? Dude, two of the fucking cars that because it's all like the toys that you can actually get. Two of the cars that you can get are cars that I actually owned back when I was a child. And so like you can make your own maps, you can design your cars and stuff. It's so fucking fun. Bro, I'm wilding right now. Like I'm as stoked as you right oh, now. Oh dude, right? I like I'm such a nostalgia kick guy. <laughs> That's That's yeah, so I don't know. We're we're geeks, we're nerds, but we grew up that way. So well, you guys I are just mean, you. I'm sure my dad said something. And I'm sure my dad said something on the thing where he's like, my kids played Minecraft. And I was like, yeah, I fucking did. Jesus Christ. I did it before you did. So I'm still doing it. Dude. I remember back when trees didn't used to drop sticks. <laughs> yeah. I remember when you couldn't make like glass. You're like, it was just, it was just bricks and stone. That was it. <laughs> You guys are so fucking. I, well, that's the thing because I was. You guys mentioned soup and like that crew too. Like you guys have like that f such that fun energy, which is also why I was wondering if you guys ever like think about streaming eventually and like together and doing content because you guys just have that fun natural energy. I can tell when even just you two so far in the room, right? I'm sure. I'm sure the whole band. You guys got an even crazier fun. Like, Dude, when all energy. of us are when all of us are in the room, it's so bad. There's a story I'm gonna say. Long story short, but there was one time where we were outside okay. of our old practice space, and it was like winter and or no it was like the, there was like ice melting or whatever and mm. i fell oh and everyone's just dying laughing and they're like just just i like when we're all of us together it's mm. it's a good batch like i i wish that we did an interview with all of us because it would be probably three hours long of just pure <laughs> energy and chaos it would have been just the worst thing ever do you remember do you remember back when like the band was first a thing like we were at your our old old practice space it was like late at night and we went out to mcdonald's to go get some food hmm. and so we're all in the same truck and go and get some food and at some point like 
we leave we leave McDonald's and we're headed back to the truck. It is like mid fucking winter or some shit like that, or just like end of winter. And there's ice on the fucking pavement. Oh, and God. you started running towards the truck because you wanted shotgun. And <laughs> I started getting very competitive because I like I was just like, you always get shotgun. And I just started chasing after you. I am right behind you. Oh and uh, everyone behind us just see me go straight up sideways. Oh. And I skidded sideways on the fucking ice. And then the moment that I hit pavement, I just started rolling. I just no. started rolling. Oh my God, and dude. everyone is losing it. <laughs> I don't know, man. We're just, we're, we get serious at times, but then there's also our funny side and yeah. it comes out when we're just having a good day. I feel like when we're all having bad days, I feel like we're, mm. we're just pretty standard. And, but then when we're having good days, we're all laughy and <laughs> we, we accidentally pick fights with each other. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, like everybody does that. I mean, it's just like a family. Like I said in the prior, mm. it's just, we're all, we're all best friends and we're all brothers. And I feel like that's why, you know, arguments start because it's like, we grew up with each other. You guys care. Like that's, it's important to to deal with shit and and talk, talk with each other. And it's, it's cool having that energy. You know what I mean? Like it's so rare and I'm sure I'm not the dude you've been told this a million times before, like bands, dude, it's, it's, it's sad seeing a lot of what happens nowadays. It's bands aren't even bands. It's usually now just vocalist plus producer (laughs) to be honest. Like it's, that's it. And it's, it's done like but even the bands like they, they they get older and everyone hates each other or you know what i mean like it's just like a sad vibe and then that I, or, seeps I, through the music you know what i mean and, and the fans can tell it's like really sad when that happens to bands in whatever scene like the deathcore metal core you know modern metal scene like it's happened so much and it's it's just sad and that's why i love you guys have that energy and you have that energy with each other that like you guys are there and you just want to make you can tell you just want to make cool fun shit that you guys like to do like that's that's amazing well we want to be at the we want to be at the top you know we want to be we want to be where we just want to prove everybody wrong i feel like it's just mm-hmm. there's no like hard feelings to anyone but i feel like it's it's just i think we're kind of over it and we're kind of over the scene and how things yeah. are playing out with music and how things are slipping through the cracks and these ways. And we kind of want to be the band where we said like, we beat all these guys and because we, yeah, we did it right. You know, we did it proper. And I think that's just what it is. I, we just grew up, we all grew up loving music and we all grew up wanting the same thing. Like I know Cole, our guitar player, like he watched videos of slash and he was like, Holy fuck. I want to be at that level, you know, just mm-hmm. like a wall of cabs behind me nice. playing in front of thousands of people. I'm like, that is pretty sick. Like, you know, it's, you grow up seeing all that shit and then once you do it and you actually in front of that amount of people on that big stage and you're like what the fuck i thought about yeah. this years ago and i'm actually doing it this is crazy you know what i mean like mm-hmm. and that that's how you know you love it so much as soon as you're in front of all those people and you're like holy fuck dude like yeah. i'm getting nervous that's how you know you love it is when you get nervous yeah and, when you care yeah, it's the uh, one thing that yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, the one thing that the one thing that always, always like makes my day and like what truly sets in for me that like I'm, I'm I haven't made it, but I'm there. You know, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Where it's just like uh, when when I get people like either like messaging me or commenting to me or just telling me in person that like our music or even just my vocals and like my lyrics had like changed their life or like uh like helped them in their darkest of times because i knew exactly how that was like and like what that was like when it comes to the music that i used to listen to way back in the day and still continue listening now uh like i know exactly what it's like to have people uh to, to to just be having just the shittest fucking time and then you'll be listening to me mu- i just even as a vocalist more specifically you'll just be listening to music I'll, I'll just be listening to music and i'll listen to like the lyrics because i'm a lyricist and i specifically hone in on the lyrics right i'll be listening to all that and they'll just say this one specific fucking phrase or this one word that i just go holy fucking shit and i'll and it, it'll just like right, change yeah. my m- mood or give me like a new perspective and shit 
And it really like, like I know exactly what it's like to have just a lot of the, uh, a lot of the odds against you, you know, yeah. when it comes to just life in general, not even just social status or like financial status or popularity status, just, just regular day to day life yeah. fucking like just is not on your side. It's, it's like, it's that saying, like you go through, you go through your day thinking that the world has it in for, in for you but right. you then come to realize that it's not it's in it's in for everybody everyone's right. going through the same shit mm -hmm. and it's, it's it really makes my fucking day whenever i'm able to make someone's day feel better or make someone huh. uh kind of pause before uh yeah. taking that step that they might regret you know Dude, 100%. That's... Fucking music's a dangerous thing, dude. I mean, if you really think about it, music is, it can cause a lot of shit. It can cause a lot of hate, a lot of love. And like, I mean, sad, like, I mean, right. like, what is the one thing you do when you're sad? You listen to music. You, you when yeah. you're mad or happy, it's, that's you, that's your outlet. And it's like, it's a weird how it affects, like, how, like, it can affect you. It's crazy. Like, I, I remember when I've been in some down times before and, you're like, you fucking listen to that one song that really gets you even low. And you're like, dude, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck did they just do to me? They just put me through a trance. And like, now I'm really pissed. And like, right. it's it's scary, dude. It's like, it's a dangerous fucking thing that was created. And it's so, and it moves people. Yeah. Like without music, I feel like this world would be fucked. <laughs> yeah. It would be so fucked. Oh, 100%. So, I mean... Without without music and without uh, creative freedoms, this world would be nuked day two. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, dude, one hundred percent. It's it's something that everyone nowadays relies on more and more, especially like just it's it's weird because in my like fuck even in my, my back in my time I, I i got the lucky generation where you still went outside like the, uh, like just the, i got the tail of it though you know like i i was so like, we so did we motherfucker I, I, so did we. i know i'm not <laughs> i know I, it fucking <laughs> sucks that i don't do that anymore i genuinely get so pissed off with myself when i don't do that but i'm so fucking lazy and a 21 year old that I'll just lay in bed and just be like, I'm just going to sit here and play a video game for like hours on end. Dude, I, I mean, bro, like I grew up playing wow, game. man. I, I know something about sitting there and farming, bro. Like, I, it's, uh, you do the 15 hour yeah. days, new expat comes out. That month is gone, bro. That That's not, that's crazy. It's, it's, it's done, it's man. It's weird. But one thing, one thing Simon will remember about me was uh, back when uh, I was a kid, because like, again, ADHD prone and like just hmm. I had this massive fucking imagination. OK, I used to role play, you know, I hmm. used to like and like what most kids used to do as well, where they would just like start sword fighting invisible right. enemies and stuff like that. But I took that to like another level when if whenever there was and I, I think a lot of people have done this, too, where it's just like you grew up with like, like not playing video games, but seeing video games. Mm. So like for me, it was COD zombies. Oh so growing God, yeah. up, seeing a bunch of the COD zombie stuff and I would run around with like my toy guns and role play COD zombies were like, I had pieces of paper on the doors with like Hell points yeah. written down on them of how much they would cost. I would have like a bin like like uh like a tub right with the, the, the that, tub that for the random as the mystery box yeah the mystery box yeah 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 <laughs> yeah like and, and as i get older like i lost that fucking imagination which ter which terrifies me and mm. like really breaks my heart because i really wish that i had that uh mm. that creative sort of imagination right uh again and sometimes I'll get it, sometimes I'll lose it, but it's just one of those situations where it's just like, I wish I went outside more. I wish that I went and did all these things and there's nothing stopping me, mm -hmm. but it's just fucking, it's just my mentality and right. uh, my, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? My, I, I, like, I want to say- Just a wonder, like, you know, like that. That's... Disorders, disorders, I'd say. Oh yeah. That's, yeah. oh yes, that's a better word, <laughs> yeah. 
I meant like like anxiety. Oh, okay. I, th I thought you meant like <laughs> in terms of like that missing that like like old wonder of just exploring shit and like you know figuring and then just that too. Yeah, that's that's that too. Yeah, that too. And sense. also, and I, I mean, also to be fair, we live in fucking Des Moines. There is fuck all to do here. <laughs> there is there is fuck all to do here. You either go to the mall, you go to that one place you know, you go to their friend's house, except they're like 30 minutes away or you just sit at home and do nothing like right. that's that's all we, we, we fucking do that's how it loops right fucking back to how you said we get angry and that's how like <laughs> that a whole shit of not doing anything in iowa is why i were so aggressive <laughs> we're so fucking bored <laughs> see if people, I, I, people wouldn't assume that it's a bored anger but it, it can it makes sense if you're bored you fucking I, i'm just pissed i, I just want to do something let's go Nice day out. Let's go film yeah. something. Get it done, bud. I keep, my Canadian came out there, bud. But don't worry about it. Yeah, just something fun, <laughs> and like that. There's that throw. I mean, yeah. yeah it's. It, and you got a problem with me? I suggest you let that one marinate. Oh yeah, there, bud. Don't you be nothing worrying about this. I got my teams on, ready to go oh, straight to the fucking Timmy's, bud. Oh yeah, there, bud. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> it's all falling apart. It's all falling <laughs> apart. <laughs> Look, I've, I've 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 taken a lot of you guys' time. I do have to, I have two questions I definitely want to ask, and they're more oh. the formal, boring questions. But that's I what I was actually I was going to ask you before you asked those. I was wondering if Go. your fans or any viewers had any questions as well, because I always feel bad when like I'd watch videos and I'd be like, I have questions too. But sure. I, no one's answering them. But I mean, <laughs> so you, I, yeah, I like chat uh, specifically requested by Simon. Your your best questions. All right, don't don't throw in the blocks. All right, we don't need block questions. Just regular. <laughs> yeah. But then you <laughs> ask yours Griffin. first. You ask yours first. We'll okay. answer, and then we'll go to the okay. we'll go to the viewers. I, I had a very you know general, people. basic yeah. interview dude question. Like, what are your like? You guys have been doing your thing for a minute. Going. Um, making music, popping off, doing tours. Like, what is, you guys have like that end goal, that plan? Are you just kind of going with the flow? Like, do you guys have something specific in mind where you're like, we are going for this right now? Or is it just make music, make bangers, tour, do the thing? Personally, me speaking, I don't know about everybody else. I mean, I feel like I can kind of feel like what everyone feels. For me, it's like we're going for the throat. You know, we're gotcha. going to the throat of like the metal community of just like holding them down and being like, this is what it is. Like, mm -hmm. this is, we want to be at the fucking top Metallica, like straight up level of when you hear our name, you hear our fucking name. Oh, Everyone yeah. knows that name. Like you could, even if someone who doesn't know us, you'd be like in the future, like a generation, like a kid will be like, I mean, you know, Vended and they're like, yeah, fucking duh. I know Vended. And duh. it's like, it's, I want to get to that point where it's like, mm -hmm there our name is in everyone's mouths like it just that's where i want to be and that's i think what most people want i can't speak for everybody mm -hmm. um for me and like this is going to sound really I, I don't know how this is really going to sound it might sound very selfish or some shit like that but hmm. one of my goals is ex exactly the same thing with simon's where it's just like i want us as venda to just be at the top i want us to just be fucking kicking ass Everyone knows who the fuck we are and a good majority of people respect the shit out of us. Uh, right. But one thing that I've like, I want coming out of just this, like, like just this music and this kind of, I, I, I it, it really just weirds me out saying it. I'm going to just say popularity quote unquote. Mm. I don't know. Gotcha. But uh, I want to, it, it goes back to the whole streaming thing. It goes back to the whole, just being able to do the things that, outside of music and outside of the things that I am already currently doing, I, I want it to really be able to support certain things that I really want to fucking do. Right. So like uh, film filmmaking or just being in a film in general, mm -hmm. like, uh, like, um, like YouTube video type shit, or just like, uh, uh, oh fuck. What's it called? Uh, like, what like di what, what like diy movie what's the fucking term like fucking indie film? uh indie film indie, indie film, film yes okay. uh just being like uh like being able to just be in certain things or do certain things that truly do excite me uh being able to meet certain people that uh truly fucking like inspire me or like uh 
uh, uplift me on my day-to-day basis. One of them being Game Grumps. I would love to be on a fucking Game Grumps YouTube video. That shit would absolutely make my goddamn day. But uh, make it a happen, lot of the shit Game that Grumps. like I, not, I don't know if they don't watch my random shit, but <laughs> make it happen, YouTube algorithm. <laughs> I don't even go. <laughs> I don't even think they know who the fuck I am. But either way, like a lot of the shit that I grew up with, hmm. I like or just the shit that I've always wanted to do since I was a kid. I really my end goal for Vended, I guess, or just main goal for Vended is not only to get us at the top, but also make it so that I can do the things that I truly want to do right. or do the things that like I've always aspired doing creatively. Right. That freedom, yeah, to just do your thing, 100%. Yeah, definitely. I feel like that's a really good answer. Yeah, I should have probably said that, but it's all right. I just said I wanted no, to- first thing- Doors make so much fucking sense. I was just cocky and was like, I want to be fucking better than Metallica. (laughs) Yours is like wholesome and fucking. Well, that's well, that's our fucking personalities. You well, well, that's your your role in this. Dude, that's that drive, and and honestly, like some people perceive it as whatever, like cockiness or this or that. But like, and you you guys are again, even just talking with you a bit, like it's been a pleasure. Like you guys are, I can tell, just good dudes. You know what the fuck is up, you know, and like. That's something that's important to want something and go for it, no matter how fucking crazy it is, obviously, right? Even if it's, we want to be as big as Metallica. Like, sure, you see that in a stupid headline and then people are going to fucking keyboard warrior and be little fucks about it, right? But like- It's not, it's not actually, actually it's not theoretically possible to be bigger than Metallica. <laughs> and then it's like, shut the fuck up, yeah. you fucking nerd. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right. Well, I, if someone's going to do it, someone so, can. Someone can definitely fucking do it. They yeah. did it. They yeah. got bigger well, than every other band. Why exactly. can't somebody else? You and know? that's why so. having that drive is is just. I have so much respect for that drive because, dude, a lot of a lot of people don't fucking have that shit. Especially, you know, especially you know if they're twenty or whatnot. Like they don't have that drive, that want, that grind of get it done. You know, manifest, make shit happen. You know, like if I, if I, I yeah. was supposed to be a fucking accountant, bro. I was be I was being doing taxes right now instead of listening to breakdowns. Fuck that shit. My only breakdown on zeros and ones is the YouTube channel. We don't need zeros and ones, okay, on the Excel spreadsheet right now. And it's like having <laughs> that that drive to just go and you guys do what you want to do and be yourself. Like it's 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 so cool and refreshing to see, especially just how real you guys are and that's also why i want to have you guys on the show because i could tell just by watching some of your stuff i'm like these guys are funny as fuck and like they're just doing their thing and like having fun and, and making fun music and it's cool to have like a place where i can be like yo guys come hang out we'll shoot the shit you know just talk about whatever and like pe- people to see i guess more of that side of of you guys too in a way that maybe they don't get to see in like those more like super professional you know side live stage interviews that you have like 10 minutes and the only thing they will ask you about is so what's the song mean you know <laughs> like it's it's yeah exactly you, you, yeah. that shit's always been boring to me i just yeah. you know like oh interview with this guy and all they talk about is one thing and it's like i mean i can't necessarily say that because that feels a little fucking and hypocritical little, about little about my dad where he talks about one thing but that's just him <laughs> he's allowed to do i that. thought it was he's, love i learned a lot about minecraft bro all right i got educated he's allowed to do that he's allowed to do that and people get so mad they're like oh he just doesn't <laughs> the conversation doesn't continue i'm like but that's the good thing he doesn't he knows what he's doing he's fucking smart he knows he's been yeah. talking about Minecraft for an hour and he's not going to talk about anything else. If he's set and destined to do that, he will do that. And that's what I love. Cause I'm still, I'm convinced that your dad like, is autistic. He's definitely <laughs> not. Definitely not. He's yeah. the smartest human because, I know. It's fine because like, I have no doubt in my mind that my dad is also autistic and so am I. <laughs> I, I well, actually, so stupid. My, my, my funny, Paula, Paula had a question. She said, do you guys show like your tracks to your dads and like try to like get them as for like, like demos or whatnot? And, like, do you, do you, do you go by it and you're like, no. yo, what do you think? Or no, do you just leave them out of it completely in terms of just, I, like, I just show it. I show that like a track like when i showed my dad dead to me mm. i said i don't want your opinion just listen to it <laughs> I love that just and he did he listened to it and he oh, didn't wow. give his opinion wow. and he's but like i said a month later i said so what'd you think and he goes love it and i was okay. like cool that's, that's hard it. that's all i wanted that's i didn't want you to be like change the... i never ask him for hey right. 
what do you think like should we change this like no if we ask for help that's bullshit it's our music so i right. that's what i do i don't know what he does i do this I do, I do somewhat the same thing except i'm not a little less blunt than that <laughs> i do i do more of like i'm very much i'm very much the kid who, who's like just excited to see show his dad or his right. parents his drawing that he made like i'm very much just like hey right. i want to show you this uh like with the far side, when we recorded the far side, like I wanted to, I brought that out. Like when I was out with dad, I was showing him uh, all the shit that we've been doing. And I showed him the, uh, uh, the far side. Mm -hmm. And like, we were just sitting in the car, like on our way doing like uh, errands and stuff. And he's just like, listen to it, like bobbing his head and stuff and like tapping his fingers on the fucking nice. uh, steering wheel. When you got and, the like, tap, you're listening in. to it. You know, it's done. You're like, exactly. Right, yeah. And when, uh, and when we were when, when it got to the ending of wish I could say I've been fucking worse, my dad just went, dude, that's really fucking nice. Like that, like that's really clever. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm blunt about it because my dad's blunt. Right. So like you got to you got to encounter the situation the exact same way he would. Right. So we'd sit in the car. He would sit in the car and him and I wouldn't talk. We wouldn't look at each other. He, we wouldn't be vibing, okay. but that's what I love. Like it's straight, right. it's straight musicianship of like, yeah. he's honing it in. He's honing Taking all the in. instruments. He's, he's not just listening to me. He's listening to Griffin. He's listening to all the pain. And that's what I love about it. So like, he's just straight like, and then at the end of it, he'll just look at me, have a big smile on his face and he'll give me a fist bump and he'll leave the car. And that's all I need. This that makes right. me happy. He doesn't need to say I'm proud of you because I know he already is. Gotcha. I know he's already proud. So like, he doesn't need to say it. That's so yeah, sick. that answers that. Okay. I have, I have a chat question and I'm, this is my chat. This is, okay. I, this was the most, I'm not even joking. Logical question I saw here. Have y'all ever experienced a tornado? I was disappointed that I never encountered one in 28 years. You guys, you guys see a whirly whirly around? Okay, funny story. I'll, um, by our old practice space, there, there was some strong ass fucking winds going. Like I mean, dude, they were like, I, like just running. Okay. And Griff and I go outside with everybody, and we like we're standing. And we're like, man, these are some really powerful winds. And oh, what the yeah. fuck is that? And it just starts. <laughs> Like, I mean, there's like a cloud above us. Oh there's my God. Above us. And I'm like, we should uh, go inside. Jesus. And we go inside and we see like leaves and twigs all start circling. And our front door just goes, wham, just flungs open. And there's on our phones is like tornado watch in the area I live. And I was like, we were standing in a motherfucking tornado. Dude, like, that shit it was, spawned it was on y'all. It just spawned. There. That was, <laughs> that was the fucking tornado. If anyone's like remembers like my old fucking Instagram posts, that was the fucking tornado where I was completely in my fucking underwear and I ran <laughs> oh out God. into this storm that was happening and just started running. And Cole was the one holding the phone. That was that fucking video. And that was also the same day that I saved a kitten from what? uh the storm that was like in these fucking pallets because the place that we used to practice was like over by this like industrial area so there were these pallets and there was this like we we all go outside like after the like during the calmness Jesus. and there we fucking heard this fucking kitten or this cat like meowing and because there were stray cats in the area and i went over there and there was this fucking little kitten in these pallets and like it was covered in fucking maggots oh and my God. like disgusting stuff. Yeah. And I fucking saved it. Sadly, sadly, I found out like not like, like a couple years ago that apparently the cat passed away because Aww. it was infected and it was like, right. uh, I'm sorry. It was, it was, it was sick and it, there was no way of actually being able to right, save right. it, which is really, which really broke my fucking heart because like mm. I, like they tried their very fucking best getting it out of the like Simon even like went back there to go and get it, but he kept like flinching because it was like swiping at him and shit. That motherfucker was angry. He was, was pissed. Oh, he was like yeah. hitting my ass. I was like, fuck you, bitch. I ain't helping you. But I was like, I grew up 
I, I grew up with cats. I'm a cat owner. Right. So I knew exactly what to do. I walked back there and just calmly, like, like carefully like picked it up and it hissed at me a few times and was really angry but i picked it up and like i got like i brought it inside and like i fucking personally i personally fucking like put oh. it under some warm water just so that to help it like i personally like like held it and pet it and like like i i mothered that fucking thing <laughs> and uh we were just all like, like we were just all being cute and just being like, what are we going to name it? And a lot of people were coming up with names and I just went, this thing's name is NATO. Oh. I'm naming this thing NATO because we, we, I found it during a tornado. Oh. So I named <laughs> I it NATO. <laughs> I thought you meant like NATO like that this. That answers that quite. Yeah, that answers that question. I hope it. I hope it answers that guy's question. That I was literally in a fucking tornado, just looking up at the god face of God, going, "Yeah, okay, bro, you cool. got you got spawn camped by a fucking tornado, bro." <laughs> but it's some real Iowan shit where we go outside and we see a tornado. Go, damn, that motherfucker's close. <laughs> damn, that's like that's getting quick. And like a lot of people are like, "We gotta hide. We gotta hide. We gotta get in the house." Here, just like. And I, I, because I'm such like a dysfunctional human being, everyone's running away and I just went, take me God. <laughs> no, dude, I was, I was standing out there going, yeah, this, the winds are getting pretty strong. And then like our bass player was like, JJ goes, yeah, that fucking thing's massive. Like it was like, it was just slowly just getting bigger and we're still standing out there. Like if it takes us, it takes us. Like, yeah, <laughs> it fuck takes it, us. whatever. <laughs> I like I like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how that happened, guys. Oh my god, <laughs> guys! It's, I feel like we could we could There's talk no for. Like I feel like we could we could talk for hours. You guys, you guys are such a pleasure. It's it's so fun again being able to have you guys on and just shoot this shit and again see that side of your guys' band because like you guys do so much cool shit and like I love what you guys have been doing musically as well, and just seeing that energy that like kind of angst but like also like that you guys having that like camaraderie as as band members and just having that drive that want to just you know conquer and and do your thing and make fucking awesome music like i gotta give you guys mad credit because not a lot of bands do that care to do that try to do that even and you know it's it's i give you guys much credit for doing that shit and dealing with the stupid fucking media all the time too man like it's that's eh, whatever it's fucking it's <laughs> it's, 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 it's it it's happens dude it's always it's gonna it's happen sword. it's gonna happen for the rest of our lives no matter how big we get how much love we get it's just gonna be the same way but before we go oh. i do need to uh not need to but okay. you guys need to check out our new song and yes. we're going on tour in europe in april late april so everybody go grab your tickets at officialvended.com i'm sure he'll put that link or whatever but uh yeah we're going on tour for about five weeks we're hitting everything so and then our new song is out so everybody go check that shit out it's and banger. let us know if it, you like it guys. it's so, banger i'm not just saying that because you're here banger. i was like fuck yeah no, dude it, let's it, go got me my fucking heart i bled my fucking heart and soul into that goddamn song <laughs> Good. Yeah. I can, everyone can... for <laughs> yeah, fucking this motherfucker. It does. Like he like we'll be like, oh, it's time to record. Like he'll be like all sleepy and tired, and then we press the record button. And he's like, ah, oh, just <laughs> fucking. I'm a monster, and I'm just like, all right, we do it. <laughs> it's crazy, but Jeez. that's why that's a banger, and that's why you said it's a banger. So a banger's a banger. A banger's Appreciate a banger. It. Simple right. as that, guys. Right. Again. Vended Simon and Griffin, the boys themselves. Thank you guys so much for coming. And again, anything. Hey, if you guys are going to Twitch stream one day and you need help with the setup, let's fucking slide in the DMs. I got you. If you guys want to throw down some some whatever magic, some <laughs> Minecraft, some uh, bro, uh, some I, horror I, games. I, like, I will I will fuck you up in magic, <laughs> bitch. No, no, I'm sorry. It was so much <laughs> more aggressive than I expected it to be. <laughs> no, bro. If you wanna if you wanna get like like I wouldn't say humiliated, but if you okay. wanna just go at it in one v one snipers and warzone, bro, I'll fucking dude. I'll show your viewers what's up. I'll show your viewers I'll, who the fucking I haven't OG played Warzone in it. Right it here. Warzone has one v one now? Well, like in the sense of like custom match, you oh, and I could go match. fucking do some bro. I grew up, yo, stupid shit. bro. I grew up with CS sniper and knives, bro. 
Knives and snipes. Dude. Yeah, knives and scouts. That's real. That's, that's no, how so, you know it's real because you got threatened. You'd get threatened like your IP address would show up in the chat. You'd kill someone. They're like, I know where you fucking I, live, dude. And you're like, fuck. Peeking banana. I'm peeking banana. Save op. Save op. Peeking banana. Dude, like it was crazy. Playing CS would be scary because all of a sudden like you kill this motherfucker eight times. He's like, you live at this address. You live in this state. Your ID, your license is this number. Your dad is this name. And you're like, what the fuck? You just released you're my whole stuck. identity. Like my whole identity's gone. It was scary. Door stuck. They're, they're intense, man. They're intense. But yes, anytime you guys want to do fun shit, always, you know, don't be strangers. Feel free. I'll definitely do a how to vent dead in 30 seconds. But you guys got to do the full song with me if it pops the fuck off then. All right, <laughs> a full song. A like you mean, like a little collabi collab, a little collab kind of thing. You, collabi collab, nothing. Little, yeah, whatever you got. A little bit, little, little, little. A little I, bit of a I mean, cordy wordy. I, I mean, I'll do some Instagram shit. We'll do some like Instagram shit. I bet we could do like do a like a what do they call them like a duet thing where like you do a riff and I'll play I'll play okay. along to it. However the fuck you want. So bro, you can get in there and like it'll be like it'll be like the most melodic like like pure hearted song in the world. And I just get in there and I'm just like, <clears throat> just gutturals. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've been learning how to, I, I learned how to do gutturals like last year. Really? Do you, yeah, I, yeah. Have you got, yeah, you were talking about COD zombies. It. Do you have the, can you do the zombie noise? Are you get in there? Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was... <laughs> no, I legit, I legit can't do the fucking uh, COD zombie shit. Everyone, my fucking ears hurt. Simon and Griffin from Vended, check out the brand new track. Stream the fuck out of it. Go check out the video. Go see the boys on tour. Show them the support, yes, guys. Sir. You're gems of humans. Thank you for coming on the show. Bless your souls. And oh, yeah, don't good. be thank don't be strangers, so, yo. Thank you so fucking much for having us, man. Appreciate Any, it, Doug. Anytime, guys. We appreciate it. Love Very you guys. Do. Have a beautiful thankful. night. All right. If you ever want to do this shit again, if you ever want to do this shit again, just fucking like hit us up. Dude. Yeah, of course. Don't be strangers. I got you. That's I got the outro. You guys. That's the outro. The outro, baby. That's, That's the outro. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. All right, this is my boy. See you.